Good morning people, this is Christian, welcome back to my computer and Fusion for 60 and this half sphere with Pentagon cutouts. We're gonna have a look at uh, at least two different workflows which have some small differences in this case. If you have a look at this, I can look straight for bottom. You can see the faces are slightly uh, tilted outwards, they are normal. Or you can think of it like the faces are pointed at the center point of the sphere. And we can also do straight cuts. We're going to start with straight cuts. And in this case, I only set in the angle correctly. So these now cuts us are mimicking the faces of a dodecahedron. This is a dodecahedron. You can see the pentagon and the five cutouts. So in this case here, they are mimicking that using some simply the dihedral angle. This is my dodecahedron created with geometry, but I don't want to spend all the time doing things here. But let's start over. So I'm simply going to delete all the steps I've done so we can start over like that. And you can see the origin point is deliberately placed outside of the sphere. This makes things a little harder so we can create this any way we want. Step number one, we're going to need a sketch. This sketch needs to be a plane that goes through the center of the half sphere or center of the sphere. So if you have a more than a half sphere or less than a half sphere, you need to somehow create a plane that lines up with the center of the sphere. In this case, this is a half sphere, so that's no problem. You can simply start, create a sketch, select the top face here, that's a flat part of the sphere, like that. I'm gonna hit P for project and project in inside or outside of the sphere, like that. That is only so we can get the center point. We can hide the origin for now. Like that. This is just for reference. So let's turn that into construction geometry. We're going to do a line from the center point here straight up. This is going to be used for an axis later, creating an angle plane. But first off, we're going to do a pentagon, circumscribe or inscribe polygon, tab over, say five sides. Did you understand? Yes, thank you. The important thing, we need to do parallel, or you can do horizontal again, but one side of a pentagon needs to be parallel to this axis here. We're going to mirror across this to get the right, correct look of the uh, pentagons going around. Because the pentagons that's on the side of uh, around here, the circular pattern of them, needs to have a flat edge towards here. If you point the point, uh, point, uh, point of the pentagon towards the flat, it looks a bit strange. I think it's up to you. Uh, we're going to need D for dimension. Dimension this little pentagon. Let's do it 12 millimeters for now. Like that. So we have done everything we need in a sketch. We have a fully defined sketch. So I'm going to finish sketch. Turn on our body. First now I'll do the simple extrude version. So I'm going to hit E on my keyboard. It selects my profile. Thank you, Fusion. I'm going to do it downwards. Uh, I'm just going to type in a dimension that's larger than the sphere, so I get a true cutout, and I use a dimension so Fusion doesn't have to think too much. Do OK. Like that, we have our first cutout. Now we need a plane to do a mirror over, so construct plane at angle. Use the line we just did here. And just I'm just going to use a random angle for now. We're going to put in the correct angle for Dodecahedon later. We can talk about that. Hit OK. S on the keyboard to search for command. We are looking for the mirror command. Mirror feature. Yes, I want to mirror my extrude feature. Select it down here in the timeline. The mirror plane is going to be this plane here. Compute option can be adjust or identical. Optimize will most probably fail with things like this on sphere parts. So I'm going to do it identical. Hit OK. And Fusion. Sometimes, I don't know why it does that, it, if you're playing around with Fusion for why sometimes it leaves things on the screen, it will disappear in a short while. S on the keyboard, yeah, look, now it disappears. Uh, circular pattern, circular pattern, once again of a feature, and now it's going to select the mirror feature. The axis is going to be anything that's round here, we can select here, we can hide the body, we can use our little circle in the sketch, good to know, we are really moving around the correct axis. Once again, identical, and of course, five of them, if we want to do like correctly on the pentagon, so quantity is five, full angle, and hit OK. And we have done our cutouts. So now we are playing here. So for the fun of it now, we can go back and edit the angle. You can put it into like 70 degrees, and the pentagons will move together, if that's desirable. But if you want to mimic the dodecahedron, of course we could create a dodecahedron. The steps are not too, not too much, but we can simply use uh, the dihedral angle, which you can find online. 
basically anything you don't hit and die hit will angle and you find this 116 point fifth side uh, to decimals i will just use 116.6 that's enough position for this so we're going to edit angle of our plane 116.6 and that's of course the full angle between two faces and we do a mirror plane and mirrors are always in the middle so we're simply going to divide this angle by two and by doing that we are mimicking what it would look like if these are basically dodgy hidden faces extruded outwards so this i'm going to hide the plane for now if we look from uh, you can look from the top you can see hide the sketch that the faces of these here are let's look for the bottom that's easier are flat faces just like we did a straight cut which we did with a screw cut but let's say you want these faces to be normal to the face of the sphere basically these faces uh, the normal faces will be pointing towards the center of the sphere hope i don't make you too much confused so let's do that we're going to back up the timeline so we avoid errors because we're going to do now remove remove the extrude and do some i will delete it and do some other commands so to avoid getting errors and, and Fusion getting hung up on recalculations, I'm just going to move back the timeline to just after the extrude. Here we have lost extrude. Select the extrude and hit delete on the keyboard and we get a warning because this feature is used in few, uh, coming features. So we have to, yes, I'm going to delete it. I'm going to fix that later. Turn on my sketch again. What will you do now? We will use we can select it from a menu tray split face. The face we want to split is the inside of the half sphere. Splitting tool is our little pentagon. Hit OK. Gonna hide the sketch of it because it gets him away. So now the split face here. We're gonna do up to here to the surface tool. Create offset face. Of course, you can search for it with the S key. This here. I will not do any offset. I simply hit OK. We get a little surface body higher here. If we hide our solid, we can see a little surface body. We're going to keep it like that. Hit S on the keyboard. I'm going to do a thicken command. Thicken as thickness to surface bodies. Select faces, this face. And I want to do it like this. I want to do it outwards. So yeah, let's do minus 10. It doesn't matter how far we do it. And we're going to change the operation to a cut like that and by doing that if we look from the bottom you can now see the faces are angled outwards so these faces are pointing towards the center of the sphere uh, the surface body has done its work so we can do right click on the surface body and do remove cleans up the browser a bit now we're going to move the time uh, timeline forward uh, the construction plane is no problem but the mirror command is going to go red because it has no feature we deleted the extrude feature so you're just going to edit by double clicking on it, missing feature, select our thicken feature, hit OK. And we now have uh, our first mirror part and we can now just add the circular pattern and that's us off the mirror. So that's no problem. And of course we can edit our sketch. Let's do that. 14. Can we do that without over stretching? Yeah. So this is another version in this case the pentagons are normal the faces of these pentagon cutouts are normal to the surface of the sphere so this is two small uh, workflows for creating pentagon cutouts in a half sphere well, of course you can do this in a full sphere if you want to do that but this is just the question for me i hope this is useful for you see you around take care and goodbye